before we get into this very important video, I like to say if you guys want to see me qualify for CTWC 2020, be sure to tune into my Twitch stream this Thursday at 5:30 p.m. Central. December 26, 2018. I saw a video. It was the Joseph Saley versus Jonas video. Watching that, you know, just that fell down the YouTube rabbit hole. But when watching that, I felt something. I was intrigued. I was like, wow, this is something really interesting. And it looks like genuine amounts of fun. Two months later, February 27th, 2019, I first played on an actual NES. And my first score wasn't all too impressive. By the end of that week, I had, you know, a 300k normal progression. And then moved on to level 15 my second week, was able to still get a 300k. Third week, moved on to 18, and then got to a half max up. Now, I would have never in my life would have think that all the things that would happen after those first three weeks would happen so quickly. I didn't aspire to be a great player instantly. I wasn't expecting to qualify for CTWC 2019. I wasn't even expected to go to it. I was ex wasn't expecting to max out two weeks after CTWC. I wasn't expected to become a commentator or an analysis. All these things I wasn't expecting down my journey got my first 800k on LCD turn around a couple of days before a couple of weeks before CTWC got my first 900k went to CTWC qualified with an 806 played micro blizz and quite experiencing one of the most heart-wrenching losses that I had to experience in my life there's Tetris for Philip. Oh. Mm. oh! Unfortunately, you can see it on his face. Oh no! And that might be it. Get oh it over. my gosh! Come on! Come on! Get it, it over! Oh, he almost had it there, but that'll be it. Oh, Sharky is out. And Philip moves on in the tournament. Oh dear. But I did not let that stop me. Went home and immediately started grinding. Two weeks after CTWC, I got a 944. And then the day after that 944, I get my first max out with an ending result score of 1,044,000. Come on. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. Oh my god. Spider dead fusion. <laughs> I was here. <laughs> Phoenix. Backslash O slash. <laughs> pop champ. Pop champ. Pop oh my champ. God. Pop champ. Following that, it was just all a bunch of playing trying to get better trying to become to the point to where i can look back at when i participate for ctwc 2020 and say that i am proud at what i've done fast forward 2020 i started maxing out more often my six max out was 1 million and 85 thousand 15 thousand points shy of a 1.1 and during that same day, I got three max outs in one session, playing with my rival, one of my rivals, AMJ Productions. Or I think I did ask, but your TGS was off. Um, how did Nessex cheat? Was it like a? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Level twenty-seven max. Let's go. <gasps> I didn't have a nougat on. I didn't have a nougat on. No. <laughs> no. But the story would not end there. 
Even though I was unable to get a 1.1 at the time, I still was racking up the number of max outs. Next thing you know, I was at 10, then 14, then 20. And then I had my rematch with Harry Hong. That match, I felt, was the match that really shifted the way things were. Because my first matchup against Harry Hong, I lost in a decider. And I was determined this time around that I wanted to try and beat him. He might have more than 10 times, 100 times the max outs that I have, but I still have to try. So that week in preparation for playing up against Harry, I maxed almost every single day. And then I played Harry and ended up winning. And it was after that moment that my internal confidence that I'm actually a good player, whether I be DAS or Hypertapper, my confidence and my ability to play at a high level, despite me not having a 1.1 or a 1.2, it became evident. And then that's when the maxes started to roll in, started to hit 30 maxes, got a max at a kill screen. I gotta go for it. Thir Max number 32! Started to approach 40, and then started to approach 50. And then as I was approaching 60, when the unexpected happened, I got my first 1.1, and it was a 1.15. Come on, dude, just give me one freaking- YES! Low freaking goal! Dude! Now, I know this is taking long to get through the intro, but this milestone that I'm about to show you guys in this video, it's a lot leading up to it, and I'm really summarizing it here. So, after that, after that 1.1, the next week, I got another 1.1, and then that's when things really just got out of control. The last seven days, I accumulated 18 max outs. One of which was a 1.1, and the other, which was something bigger, better. And the score was achieved just last night on stream. I had got my max out for the day, so I was happy, or more so content. And then something out of the norm happened. And this is what we are going to be watching. Dude, I'm, I don't know how I was playing so bad. Like, I thought I was playing decent, and then I look at my score, and it was absolute garbage.
Do I tend to panic? Slash pa I don't panic, but if I'm trying to go for a max out and my score is really low, I'll just try to play efficient to make up for my low score. Because at least in quals, I'm going for like maxes. Which means I have to, if I transition with a low score, I have to play aggro in 19. Like, dude, this is the score that I had at 90 lines. Last game. Like, actually the score I had at 90 lines. That's pretty bad. No, we burned our second line. Ah, oh, dude, I can't believe I missed that spin. I mean, it's not going to save too much time unless it's like a stupidly early max. Yeah, it's not going to save too much time. Like if I max in 20, if I max like in level 28, then yeah, I'll just go ahead and top. But if it's a max in the level 27 or a level 27 max, I'll play it out for a 1.1. But like if I get into a situation that like I can't, score any more tetrises then uh then what's it called i'll just top You're telling me that mess actually worked. Okay.
trick. Thank you, RNG. Please, RNG, please just give me a long... Oh, my gosh. Five squares in a row. Come on, RNG, please, long bar. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I want my toe! What? Hold on, hold on. Where is it? Where is it? Everyone, look, 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 look. Everyone, please listen to me. Please, please, please listen to me. I just one point two. What? Dude, I actually just one point two. It was off of a like. I got CO9. CO9. Wow, oh, Sharky! Yeah. You're, you're so good! <laughs> what?! Sharky, I'm gonna cry. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. All of this, one year and seven months of playing. Not even a year after my first max out, I am now one of the few Daz players in the world that has a 1.2. So, the reason why I wanted to take this approach to this video is because I have a message for all those that watch my content that might see this on their recommended. If there's something that you want to achieve, don't give up. Failure generally comes before success. And I failed numerous times. I got knocked out around zero, never made it out of round one for CTM Masters, or lately even Challengers. Always missed qualifying just by a couple thousand points. But don't let that stop me. Everyone that plays this game, everyone has the potential to do something great. And you are no exception. So, I'd like to thank everyone who supported me ever since when I started playing and was posting 200k scores to now when I max out just about every single day. I want to thank you guys for all your support. Whether it's through your Twitch subs, through your Patreon, or just even watching my videos. And so, with that being said, I have a message for you CTWC. Whether I get knocked out at the beginning or I make it all the way at the end. I am coming for you, and I expect you all to be ready. See me qualify for CTWC 2020 this Thursday, 5.30 p.m. Central, my channel. Don't miss it.